Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jai Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Janabalaba Giri Varadhari Gopi Janabalaba Giri Varadhari Shodanandana Braja Janaranjana Shodanandana Braja Janaranjana
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare.
Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshun Lilitam Dina Tasmai Shi Gurave Shi Chaitanya Manogishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Sayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Sri Yuta Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shri Shri Rupam Sagrajata Sahagana Raghunathan Vitham Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sadhutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Pada Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vidamsha He Krishna Karuna Sundo Dina Bandho Jagat Pate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Mostute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Vrishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Vansha Kalpatarubhyasha Kripa Sindhubhya Evacha Patitana Bhavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shri Vasadi Gauravakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Just run those nectarian verses. Varha Piram Natavara Varha Piram Natavara Vapu Karnyo Karnikadaram Vibradvasa Kanakat Kapisham Vaijayam Tinchamala Rangran Veno Radhara Sudaya Punayari Gopavinda Vrindaranyam Svapada Brahmanam Parasha Gita Kiri Tabakatam Ritam Tatarjivanam Kavir Viriditam Kalmashapaham Shravana Mangala Srimadatatam Buddhigranantiye Krishna Kirtana Shabbat Shalom. 
Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvita Chandra Jaya Gora Bhakta Vidha We're continuing with our reading of the Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita. This is from the Adi Lila chapter 3, text number 53. Shunabhai e shab Chaitanya Mahima e shloki kahe tar Mahimar Sima My dear brothers, please hear all these glories of Lord Chaitanya. This verse clearly summarizes his activities and characteristics. Krishna dwe varna sada jar muke, atava krishna ke teho varne nija suke. The two syllables Krishna are always in his mouth, or he constantly describes Krishna with great pleasure. Krishna varnam. Shad Shabdhera Arto Dvita Praman Krishna Vinu Tar Muke Nahi Aishe An. These two meanings of the word Krishnavarna in these are two meanings of the word Krishnavarna. Indeed, nothing else but Krishna issues from his mouth. Keha Tare Bale Jadi Krishna Varana Aro Visheshani Tar. Kare Nivarana. If someone tries to describe him as being of blackish complexion, the next adjective, Tusha Krishnam, immediately restricts him. Deha Kante Hai Teho, a Krishna Varna, a Krishna Varani Kahi Pita Varana. His complexion is certainly not blackish. Indeed, his not being blackish indicates that his complexion is yellow. Kalo yam vidbhamsha sputam abhiya jante duti barad akrishnangam krishnam maka vidibir utkirtanamayai Upasyam cha prahur yam akila chatur tashrama jusham sadevash chaitanyakratir atikaram na kripayatu. 
by performing the sacrifice of congregational chanting of the holy name, learned scholars in the age of Kali worship Lord Krishna, who is now non-blackish because of the great upsurge of the feelings of Srimati Radharani. He is the only worshipable deity for the Paramahamsas who have attained the highest stage of the fourth order sannyas. May that Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Chaitanya, show us his great cause of mercy. This verse is Dutiya Sri Chaitanyashtaka number one from the Stava Mala of Sri Rupa Gos Srila Rupa Goswami. Pratyaksha Tahar Tapta Kanchanera Dudi Jahar Chataya Nashe Anjana Tamastati. One can vividly see his glowing complexion of molten gold, which dispels the darkness of ignorance. Jivera Kalma Shatamo Nash Karibare Anga Upanga Nam Nana Astradhare. The sinful life of the living beings results from ignorance. To destroy that ignorance, he has brought various weapons, such as his plenary associates, his devotees, and the holy name. Bhaktira virodhi karma dharma va dharma tahar kalmasha nama she mahatama. The great ignorance, the greatest ignorance consists of activities, whether religious or irreligious, that are opposed to devotional service. They are to be known as sins, kalmasha. Bahu tuli hari bali prem drishto chai. Koriya Kalmasha Nasha Premete Bashai. Raising his arms, chanting the holy name, and looking upon all with deep love. He drives away all sins and floods everyone with love of Godhead. Smita Loka Shokim Harati Jagatyam Yasiparito Giram tu Praramba Kushala Patalim Palavayati. Padalumba kam va pranayati na hi prema divaham. Sadevash chaitanya kritir atikaram na kripayatu. May the Supreme Personality of God in the form of Lord Ch Sri Chaitanya bestow his causeless mercy upon us. His smiling glance at once drives away all the bereavements of the world. And his very words enliven the auspicious creepers of devotion by expanding their leaves. Taking shelter of his lotus feet invokes transcendental love of God at once. Purport. This verse is Dutiya Sri Chaitanyashtaka 8 from the Stavamala of Sri Rupa Goswami. Srila Rupa Goswami. Sri Ango, Sri Muko. J. Kari Darshana, Tar Papa Kshaya, Hai Pai Premadhan. Anyone who looks upon his beautiful body or beautiful face becomes freed from all sins and obtains the wealth of love of Godhead. Anya Bhattare Shab, Shanya Shastra Shange, Chaitanya Krishnera Shanya, Anga Upange. In other incarnations, the Lord descended with armies and weapons, but in this incarnation, his soldiers are his plenary parts and associates. Sado Payasu, Sado Pasya, Sriman Drita Manuja, Kayai Pranayitam, Bahad Bir, Gir, Vanayar, Girisha, Parameshti, Prabritibi. Swa bhakti bya shudham nijabhajana mudram upadishan shi chaitanya kim me punar apidashor yasyati padam. Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is always the most worshipable deity of the demigods, including Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma, who came in the garb of ordinary men bearing love for him. He instructs his own pure devotional service to his own devotees. 
Will he again be the object of my vision? Purport, this verse is from Pratama, is Pratama, Sri Chaitanya one from the Stavamala of Srila Rupa Goswami. Ango Panga Astrakare Swakarya Sadhana Ango Shabher Ango Shabdhera Arto Aro Shuna Diamano. His plenary parts and associates perform the work of weapons as their own specific duties. Please hear from me another meaning of the word Anga. Anga Shabde Angsha Kahe Shastra Puramano Angira Avya Avayava Upanga Vyakan Vyakyana. According to the evidence of the revealed scriptures, a bodily limb, anga, is also called a part, angsha, and a part of a limb is called a partial part, upanga. Narayanas tum nahisarvadehinam atmas yadiksha kilalokasakshi narayanungam narabhu jalayanat O Lord of Lords, you are the seer of all creation. You are indeed everyone's dearest life. Are you not therefore my father, Narayana? Narayana refers to one whose abode is in the water born from Nara, Garbhadakshai Vishnu, and that Narayana is your plenary portion. All your plenary portions are transcendental. They are absolute and are not creations of Maya. Purport. This text was spoken by Lord Krishna. This text was spoken to Lord Krishna by Brahma in Srimad Bhagavatam 10, 14, 14. Jala Shai Antar Yami J Narayana Seho Tomar Anksha Tumi Mula Narayana. The manifestation of the Narayan who predominates in everyone's heart, as well as the Narayan who lives in the waters, Karna, Garbha, and Shira, is your plenary portion. You are therefore the original Narayana. Anga shabe angsha kahe seho satya hai maya karya nahe shab chid anandamoy. The word Anga indeed refers to plenary portions. Such manifestations should never be considered products of material nature, for they are all transcendental, full of knowledge, and full of bliss. Purport in the material world, if a fragment is taken from an original object, the original object is reduced by the removal of that fragment. But the Supreme Personality of Godhead is not at all affected by the actions of Maya. The Ishapanishad says, Om Puranamatak Puranamidang. Purnat purna mudachite, purna sipurna madhaya, purna mi vabashushite. The personality of God is perfect and complete, and because he is completely perfect, all emanations from him, such as this phenomenal world, are perfectly equipped as complete wholes. Whatever is produced of the complete whole is also complete in itself. Because he is the complete whole, even though so many complete units emanate from him, he remains the complete balance. That's from the Sri Shapanishad invocation. In the realm of the absolute, one plus one equals one, and one minus one equals one. Therefore, one should not conceive of a fragment of the Supreme Lord in the material sense. In the spiritual world, there is no influence of the material energy or material calculations of fragments. In the 15th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says that the living entities are his parts and parcels. There are innumerable, there are innumerable living entities throughout the material and spiritual universes, but still Lord Krishna is full in himself. To think that God lost his personality because his many parts and parcels are distributed all over the universe is an illusion. That is a material calculation. Such calculations are possible only under the influence of the material energy, maya. In the spiritual world, the material energy is conspicuous only by its absence. In the category of Vishnu Tattva, there is no loss of power from one expansion to the next. Any more than there is a loss of illumination as one candle kindles another. 
Thousands of candles may be kindled by an original candle, and all will have the same candle power. In this way, it is to be understood that although all the Vishnu tattvas from Krishna and Lord Chaitanya to Rama, Narsingha, Varaha, and so on, appear with different features in different ages, all are equally invested with supreme potency. Demigods such as Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva come in contact with the material energy and their power and potency are therefore of different gradations. All the incarnations of Vishnu, however, are equal in potency for the influence of Maya can never cannot even approach them. Advaita Nityanando Chaitanya Dui Ango Angara Avayava Gana Kahiye Upanga Sri Advaita Prabhu and Sri Nityananda Prabhu are both plenary portions of Lord Chaitanya. Thus they are the limbs, angas of his body. The parts of these two limbs are called upangas. Angopanga Tiko Astro Prabhu Rasahite She Shab Astra Hoy Prashanda Dalite Thus the Lord is equipped with sharp weapons in the form of his parts and plenary portions. All these weapons are competent enough to crush the faithless atheists. Purport the word Prashanda is very significant here. One who compares the Supreme Personality of Godhead to the demigods is known as Prashanda. Prashandas try to bring the Supreme Lord down to a mundane level. Sometimes they create their own imaginary God or accept an ordinary person as God and advertise him as equal to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. They are so foolish that they present someone as the next incarnation of Lord Chaitanya or Krishna, although his activities are all contradictory to those of a genuine incarnation, and thus they fool the innocent public. One who is intelligent and who studies the characteristics of the Supreme Personality of Godhead with reference to the Vedic context cannot be bewildered by the Pashandas. Pashandas or atheists cannot understand the pastimes of the Supreme Lord or transcendental loving service to the Lord. They think that devotional service is no better than ordinary fruit of activities, karma. As the Bhagavad Gita 4.8 confirms, however, the Supreme Personality of God and his devotees, saving the righteous and chastising the miscreants, paritra naya sadhunam vinashaya chadushkritam, always curb these nonsensical atheists. Miscreants always want to deny the Supreme Personality of Godhead and put stumbling blocks in the path of devotional service. The Lord sends his bona fide representatives and appears himself to curb this nonsense. Nityananda Goshai Sakshat Haladhar Advaita Acharya Goshai Sakshat Ishar Sri Nityananda Gosai is directly Haladhara Lord Balaram, and Advaita Acharya is the personality of God in himself. Srivasari Parishad Shanya Shangalai Dui Shena Patibule Kirtana Kariya. These two captains with their soldiers such as Srivas Thakur travel everywhere chanting the holy name of the Lord. Prashanda Dalanavana Nityananda Rai Acharya Hunkara, Acharya Hunkare Papa, Pashandi Palai. Lord Nityananda's very features indicate that he is the subduer of the unbelievers. All sins and unbelievers flee from the loud shouts of Advaita Acharya. Sankirtana Pravartaka Sri Krishna Chaitanya, Sankirtana Jagne Tare Bhaje Shaitanya. Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya is the initiator of Sankirtan, congregational chanting of the holy name of the Lord. One who worships him through Sankirtan is fortunate indeed. Sheta Sumeda Aro Kubhuti Sangsar Sarva Yagya Hoite Krishna Nama Yagnasar. Such a person is truly intelligent. Whereas others who have but a poor fund of knowledge must endure the cycle of repeated birth and death. Of all sacrificial performances, the chanting of the Lord's holy name is the most sublime. Purport, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the father and inaugurator of the Sankirtan movement. 
one who worships him by sacrificing his life, money, intelligence, and words. For the Sankirtan movement is recognized by the Lord and endowed with his blessings. All others may be said to be foolish, for of all sacrifices in which a man may apply his energy, a sacrifice made for the Sankirtan movement is the most glorious. Haribo! Koti Ashrameda Ak Krishna Nam Sam J Kahe She Pashande Drande Jare Dam. This is a verse well noted in my life because I had printed this verse out and I had it sitting on my desk and a, a god brother of mine who had strayed from the path of Krishna consciousness for a long time but who I was in touch with regularly because he's an old friend and uh, it was back in the days of fax machines I don't know if any of you ever heard of a fax machine before but it was a machine where you put in a, a page with some printed matter and then you push the button and it sends it to another machine that prints it out on paper if you can imagine such a thing and so I had a fax machine early on because I was just trying to be ahead of the technology on the technology and my friend uh, finally got one about a year later and then I I got a, a, a message from him saying that uh, or if, maybe a phone call he said could you fax me something I just set up my machine and I want to see how it's working now keep in mind that he had been a, a little bit at keeping Krishna consciousness at, at an arm's distance and so I looked around he said if we could do it right now I'd really appreciate it I didn't have anything else printed right then except for this shloka that I was looking at and it was this shloka that I put into the fax machine and sent him. So let's look at this shloka and see what might have happened after I sent it. Koti Ashrameda Ako Krishna Nam Sam J Kahe She Pashandi Dande Tare Yam. Yam means Yamaraj. Koti 10 million Ashrameda horse sacrifice ek one Krishna of Lord Krishna Nam. One Krishna Nam and 10 million ashramata yagyas. If you say sama, it's equal. Jehu, kahe, the person who says that, shape or shande, he's an atheist. Dande, tare, yam, he's punished by yamaraj. One who says that 10 million ashramata sacrifices are equal to the chanting of the holy name of Lord Krishna is undoubtedly an atheist. He is sure to be punished by yamaraj. See, this person had been going all over the place, checking out every single other possible weird philosophy in the world to compare it to Krishna consciousness. And then he got this. And it wasn't intentional. It was Lord Chaitanya's arrangement. Purport. In the list of the ten kinds of offenses in chanting the holy name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Hare Krishna, the eighth offense is Dharma Vrata Tyagal Hutadi Sarva Shubha Kriya Samya Mapi Pramadaha. One should never consider the chanting of the holy name of Godhead equal to pious activities like giving charity to brahmanas or saintly persons, opening charitable educational institutions, distributing free food, and so on. The results of pious activities do not equal the results of chanting the holy names of Krishna. Haribo. The Vedic scriptures say, Go koti dhanam grahane kagasya pragha, prag Prayaga gango de kakalpavasa Jagya yutam meru suvarna danam Govinda kirter na samam shatam shai. Even if one distributes 10 million cows in charity during an eclipse of the sun, lives at the confluence of the Ganges and Jamuna for millions of years, or gives a mountain of gold in sacrifice to the Brahmanas. He does not earn one hundredth part of the merit derived from chanting Hare Krishna. In other words, one who accepts the chanting of Hare Krishna to be some kind of pious activity is completely misled. Of course it is pious, but the real fact is that Krishna and his name being transcendental are far above all mundane pious activity. Pious activity is on the material platform, but chanting of the holy name of Krishna is completely on the spiritual plane, 
Therefore, although Pashandis do not understand this, pious activity can never never compare to the chanting of the holy name. So after I sent it, I heard, there was silence. He didn't even say if it worked on his machine. And I thought, after I looked at what I had sent him, oh my goodness, he'll probably now, I'll never hear from him ever again. But that wasn't true. About a week later, I received an eight-page handwritten letter. When I received the envelope, it was thick because he had handwritten it, eight pages, and it was crammed in this envelope. Maybe I still have it. I don't know. But it was his mea culpa. He said, how could I have taken the greatest jewel and thrown it away as if it was garbage? thrown it into the street. And he apologized profusely, and for the months and years afterwards, he always felt a sense of remorse that he had strayed away from the process of Krishna consciousness. So these statements that come from the Shastra are very important to remind us. They're not exaggeration. In fact, sometimes there are statements given in the Vedas that are meant to inspire us to take up some regulation in our life, to head towards a pious life. And sometimes there's some exaggeration or at least exceptionalism in that a, a statement is made. It doesn't necessarily apply to everybody, but it applies. It's happened in the past. But uh, Rupa Goswami says when it comes to chanting the holy name, there are no exaggerations because the name is directly Krishna himself, and the results that are mentioned are as they are stated in the Shastra. So as we hear more about the, the power, efficacy of the chanting of the holy name and how it's Krishna himself with such force and with such emphasis, then it helps to uh, slap us awake that why do I let my mind wander to so many other frivol uh, less important matters? Uh, frivolous, I was looking for, frivolous activities in this world. Why not cultivate this chanting of Hare Krishna and become fully fixed in this? Mea Kopa. Bhagavat Sandharva Grantera Mangalachane E Shloka Jiva Gosai Kariachina Vyakyani. In the auspicious introduction to the Bhagavat Sandharva, Srila Jiva Goswami has given the following verse as an explanation Anta Krishnam Bahir Gaurum Darshi Tangari Vaivavam Kalu Sankirtana Dhyaisma Krishna Chaitanya Ashita Krishna Chaitanya Ashita I take shelter of Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who is outwardly a fair of a fair complexion but is inwardly Krishna himself. In this age of Kali he displays his expansions, his angas and pangas by performing congregational chanting of the holy name of the Lord. Purport, Srila Jiva Goswami has placed the verse from Srimad Bhagavatam quoted in text 52, Krishna Varnam Tosha Krishnam, as the auspicious introduction to his Bhagavata Sandharva or Shat Sandharva. He has composed this text, 81, which is in effect an explanation of the Bhagavatam verse as the second verse of the same work. The verse from Srimad Bhagavatam was enunciated by Karbhajana one of the nine great sages, and is elaborately explained by the Sarvasambhadini, Jiva Goswami's commentary on his own Shatsandarbha. Anta Krishna refers to one who is always thinking of Krishna. This attitude is a predominant feature of Srimati Radharani. Even though many devotees always think of Krishna, none can surpass the gopis, among whom Radharani is the leader in thinking of Krishna. Radharani's Krishna consciousness surpasses that of all other devotees. Lord Chaitanya accepted the position of Srimati Radharani 
to understand Krishna. Therefore, he was always thinking of Krishna in the same way as Radharani. By thinking of Lord Krishna, he always overlapped Krishna. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, who, is, who was outwardly very fair, with a complexion like molten gold, simultaneously manifested his eternal associates, opulences, expansions, and incarnations. He preached the process of chanting Hare Krishna, and those who are under his lotus feet are glorious. Upa Pura Neha Shuni Shri Krishna Vachana Kripa Kari Vyasa Prati Kari Yachina Kartana in the Upa Puranas, we hear Sri Krishna showing his mercy to Vyasadeva by speaking to him as follows. Aham eva kuchit brahman sanyasa shramam ashrita hari bhaktim grahayami kalao papa hatam naran O oh, learned Brahmana, sometimes I accept the renounced order of life to induce the fallen people of the age of Kali to accept devotional service to the Lord. Bhagavata Bharata Shastra Agama Purana Chaitanya Krishna Avatare Prakat Pramana Srimad Bhagavatam, the Mahabharata, the Puranas, and other Vedic literatures all give evidence to prove that Lord Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the incarnation of Krishna. Pratyake dehaha nana prakat prabhav alaukika karma alaukika anubhav. One can also directly see Lord Chaitanya's manifest influence in his uncommon deeds and uncommon Krishna conscious realization. Dekia na deke jata abatara gano aluke na deke jena suryera kirana. But faithless un unbelievers do not see what is clearly evident, just as owls do not see the rays of the sun. Tvam shila rupa charitai parama prakrishtai satvena satvikataya. Pravalaish Chashastrai Prakyata Daiva Puramarata Vidam Mataishcha Naivasura Prakrutaya Pravavanti Bodhum. O my Lord, those influenced by demoniac principles cannot realize you, although you are clearly the supreme by dint of your exalted activities, forms, character, and uncommon power which are confirmed by all the revealed scriptures in the quality of goodness and the celebrated transcendentalists in the divine nature. This verse, this is a verse from Stotra Ratna of Jamunacharya, the spiritual master of Ramanujacharya. The authentic scriptures describe the transcendental activities, features, form, and qualities of Krishna, and Krishna explains himself in the Bhagavad Gita the most authentic scripture in the world. He is further explained in Srimad Bhagavatam, which is considered the explanation of the Vedanta Sutra. Lord Krishna is accepted as the Supreme Personality of Godhead by those authentic scriptures, not simply by Vox Populi. In the modern age, uh, a certain class of fools thinks that they can vote anyone into the position of God as they can vote a man into the position of a political executive head. But the transcendental Supreme Personality of God is perfectly described in the authentic scriptures. In the Bhagavad Gita, the Lord says that only fools deride him, thinking that anyone can speak like Krishna. Even according to historical references, Krishna's activities are most uncommon. Krishna has affirmed, I am God, and he has acted accordingly. Mayavadis think that everyone can claim to be God, but that is their illusion, for no one else can perform such extraordinary activities as Krishna. When he was a child on the lap of his mother, he killed the demon Putana. Then he killed the demons Trinavarta, Vatsasura, and Paka. When he was a little more grown up, he killed the demons of Hasura and Rishabhasura. Thereafter, therefore, God is God from the very beginning. 
The idea that someone can become God by meditation is ridiculous. By hard endeavor, one may realize his godly nature, but he will never become God. The asuras or demons who think that anyone can become God are condemned. When, when we were uh, still going to the uh, Indian stores, I went out one day to <clears throat> Indian Cash and Carry or one of those little gold mines we had, and I had a table set up and Dayanidhi Prabhu was with me, and we were distributing books together from behind the table, and this one Indian man came over, and he was looking through the books for about five minutes, and then he looked up at Dayanidhi and he said, I am God. And Dayanidhi, Dayanidhi Prabhu said, you are God-like. And the man said, I am God. And Dayanidhi said, you're God-like. I am God. You're God-like. Back and forth ten times. And Dayanidhi just kept saying it back very strongly because he had this siddhanta. He knew. He's uh, been hearing this since he was a kid. And so then the man just walked away. And 20 minutes later, he came back and he goes, okay, I'll take a book. How much is it? <laughs> he bought the book. And all this, this is a, a simple scenario. I was thinking that if not for the parampara, and if not for Srila Prabhupada broadcasting the message of the parampara, uh, how would a person, Dainiti, have known this? How would it have been broadcast in such a straightforward and convincing way to this man who throughout his life had not heard parampara? He had heard something that was a concoction by the Mayavadis. But just by the power of the sound vibration and one who takes up the lifestyle, uh, that a person's heart can be changed. Now that man walked away with a book that has the message of the parampara perfectly delineated and explained in detail, and his life can change. So the vibration that we're hearing now from the Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, perfectly lined up through the Parampara, it's extremely important. Hearing again and again reorders our minds and our hearts just by this vibration, and also empowers us to represent it. Uh, for others, which brings them great benefit as well. What to speak of inspiring us to live a lifestyle which is in harmony with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his teachings and his followers. The authentic scriptures are compiled by personalities like Vasudev, Narada, Asita, and Parashara, who are not ordinary men. All the followers of the Vedic way of life have accepted these famous personalities whose authentic scriptures conform to the Vedic literature. Nevertheless, the demoniac do not believe their statements, and they purposely, purposely oppose the Supreme Personality of God and his devotees. Today it is fashionable for common men to write whimsical words as so-called incarnations of God and be accepted by authentic by other common men. This demoniac mentality is condemned in the seventh chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, wherein it is said that those who are miscreants and the lowest of mankind, who are fools and asses, cannot accept the Supreme Personality of Godhead because of their demoniac nature. They are compared to ulukas, or owls, who cannot open their eyes in the sunlight. Because they cannot bear the sunlight, they hide themselves from it and never see it. They cannot believe that there is such illumination. Apana lukaite krishna nana jatta kare tatapi tahar pakta janaye tahare taka tahare. Lord Sri Krishna tries to hide himself in various ways, but nevertheless, his pure devotees know him as he is. Ulangita trividha sima sam atishai sam bhavanam tava parivradima subhavam maya balena bhavata tapi niguha nigyamanam pashyanti kechit 
anisham tvadananya bhava. O my Lord, everything within material nature is limited by time, space, and thought. Your characteristics, however, being unequaled and unsurpassed, are always transcendental to such limitations. You sometimes cover such characteristics by your own energy. But nevertheless, your unalloyed devotees are always able to see you under all circumstances. Purport. This verse is also quoted from the Stotra Ratna of Jamunacharya. Everything covered by the influence of Maya is within the limited boundaries of space, time, and thought. Even the greatest manifestation we can conceive, the sky, also has limitations. From the authentic scriptures, however, it is evident that beyond the sky is a covering of seven layers, each ten times thicker than the one preceding it. The covering layers are vast, but within or without coverings, space is limited. Our power to think about space and time is also limited. Time is eternal. We may imagine billions and trillions of years, but that will still be an inadequate estimate of the extent of time. Our imperfect senses, therefore, cannot think of the greatness of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, nor can we bring him within the limitations of time or our thinking power. His position is accordingly described by the word alungita. He is transcendental to space, time, and thought. Although he appears within them, he exists transcendentally. Even when the Lord's transcendental existence is disguised, by space, time, and thought, however, pure devotees of the Supreme Lord can see him in his personal features beyond space, time, and thought. In other words, even though the Lord is not visible to the eyes of ordinary men, those who are beyond the covering layers because of their transcendental devotional service can still see him. The sun may appear covered by a cloud, but actually it is the eyes of the tiny people below the cloud that are covered, not the sun. If those tiny people rose above the cloud in an airplane, they could see the sunshine and the sun without impediment. Similarly, although the covering of Maya is very strong, Lord Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita 7.14, Daiva hiye shaguna mayi mama maya duratya ya mam eva ye prapadyante maya mitang tarantite. This divine energy of mind consisting of the three modes of material nature is difficult to overcome. But those who have surrendered unto me can easily cross beyond it. To surpass the influence of the illusory energy is very difficult, but those who are determined to catch hold of the lotus feet of the Lord are freed from the clutches of Maya. Therefore, pure devotees can understand the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but demons, because of their miscreant behavior, cannot understand the Lord in spite of seeing the many revealed scriptures and the uncommon activities of the Lord. Asura sabhave krishna kabu nahi jane lukaiti nari krishna bhakta janastane Those whose nature is demoniac cannot know Krishna at any time, but he cannot hide himself from his pure devotees. People who develop the nature of asuras like Ravana and Hiranyakashipu can never know Krishna, the personality of Godhead, by challenging the authority of Godhead. But, Sri Krishna cannot hide himself from his pure devotees. Dau bhuta sargo lo kesmin daiva asura evacha Vishnu bhakta smrito daiva asura stad viparya ya There are two classes of men in the created world. One consists of the demoniac and the other of the godly. The devotees of Lord Vishnu are the godly, whereas those who are just the opposite are called demons. Purport. This is the verse from the Padma Purana. Vishnu bhaktas, or devotees in Krishna consciousness, are known as devas, demigods. Atheists who do not believe in God or who declare themselves God, the asuras, demons. Atheists who do not believe in God or who declare themselves God are asuras, demons. Asuras always engage in atheistic material activities, exploring ways to utilize the resources of matter to enjoy sense gratification. The Vishnu Bhaktas, Krishna conscious devotees, are also active, but their objective is to satisfy the Supreme Personality of Godhead by devotional service. Superficially, both classes may appear to work in the same way, 
but their purposes are completely opposite because of a difference in consciousness. Asuras work for personal sense gratification, whereas devotees work for the satisfaction of the Supreme Lord. Both work conscientiously, but their motives are different. The Krishna consciousness movement is meant for the devas or devotees. Demons cannot take part in Krishna conscious activities, nor can devotees in Krishna consciousness take part in demonic activities or work like cats and dogs, simply for sense gratification. Such activity does not appeal to those in Krishna consciousness. Devotees accept only the bare necessities of life to keep themselves fit to act in Krishna consciousness. The balance of their energy is used for developing Krishna consciousness, through which one can be transferred to the abode of Krishna by always think of, thinking of him at the time of death. And now let's take some reflections or questions because uh, we've covered points. Hare Krishna, okay. Hare Krishna. Uh, Maharaj, uh, when you mentioned about Dhanandi Prabhu's, uh, uh, you know, experience and, uh, you know, he was uh, given this knowledge, right? What would have not happened, you know, if you had not shared the knowledge? So I just wanted to share yesterday night, I had a conversation with my uncle's close friend who I knew when I grew up in India. Uh, he's a doctor professor in philosophy who has given lectures about on each shlokas of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, and then he studies religious studies, he gives lecture on Sikhism, and he has under, probably read multiple Bhagavad Gita, he, as he shared yesterday, Vinod uh, Bhaves, you know, from this, and he said every Bhagavad Gita has a different flavors, he started telling that. But then when I uh, spoke with him yesterday, uh, after 15 minutes, maybe around, I told him, that Prabhupada, uh, I, I, I was, my goal was to convince him to accept Srimad Bhaktam because, uh, so he, I told him uh, one uh, instant when I was listening a lecture of Prabhupada and in that lecture, he asked his disciple, can he replay what he said? And I told him, you know, why somebody will listen what he has just said? Because he's in full conscious on himself, right? So why he would re-listen? Re I said, you know, he, Prabhupada mentioned it is not he who was speaking. And that instant, you know, the thing's conversation totally shifted. And because of that one instant I felt yesterday, then he said, yes, you know, I will send you my address and he will be happy, you know, to accept the Bhaktam. So I was just thinking that one instant of the Prabhupada's, uh, because this is not intellectually trying to win over some, you know, experts when the message has come from divine and it is being broadcasted as it is, then that potency in whatever shape and form you pass it on, it hits the right person. Even the person has been like a philosopher or, you know, well-known in the academic sector. I was really, really happy, but I'm glad that instant, one instant changed his mind. So just wanted to share that. Yeah, thank you for sharing. Let, let's look at a verse that um, gives... Uh, a description of this phenomena that you're speaking about, Radha Krupa. Let's look at Bhagavad Gita, 13th chapter, 24th verse, if I'm not incorrect. It's in that neighborhood. No, that's not it. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare. 26. 1326. So, this verse, 1326, describes... Krishna is describing a person who is open to hearing. He says, Anye tvevam ajanata shrutvari bhya upasate tepi chatitrantyeva mrityum shruti parayana. So, Anye, others, to but evam. Thus, 
ajanata without spiritual knowledge. So people uh, generally are in this condition, they are ajanata, ajanantaha. They don't have spiritual knowledge. Shrutva, by hearing anibhya from others, upasate, they begin to worship. Te pi cha ataranti, they transcend, certainly, mrityum, and they go above death. Shruti parayana, because they're shruti parayana. That is, they're inclined to the process of hearing. Now, let's hear the uh, verse in purport, and you'll see how it matches your scenario. Again, there are those who, although not conversant in spiritual knowledge, begin to worship the Supreme Person upon hearing about Him from others. Because of their tendency to hear from authorities, they also transcend the path of birth and death. Purport. This verse is particularly applicable to modern society because in modern society there is practically no education in spiritual matters. Some of the people may appear to be atheistic or agnostic or philosophical, but actually there is no knowledge of philosophy. As for the common man, if he is a good soul, then, he, then there is a chance for advancement by hearing. This hearing process is very important. Lord Chaitanya, who preached Krishna consciousness in the modern world, gave great stress to hearing because if the common man simply hears from authoritative sources, he can progress, especially according to Lord Chaitanya, if he hears the transcendental vibration, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. It is stated, therefore, that all men should take advantage of hearing from realized souls and gradually become able to understand everything. The worship of the Supreme Lord will then undoubtedly take place. Lord Chaitanya has said that in this age, no one needs to change his position, but one should give up the endeavor to understand the absolute truth by speculative reasoning. One should hear, one should learn to become the servant of those who are in knowledge of the Supreme Lord. If one is fortunate enough to take shelter of a pure devotee, hear from him about self-realization and follow in his footsteps, one will be gradually elevated to the position of a pure devotee. In this verse particularly, the process of hearing is strongly recommended. And this is very appropriate. Although the common man is often not as capable as so-called philosophers, faithful hearing from an authoritative person will help one transcend this material existence and go back home, back to Godhead. Also, there's further evidence of this. In the Madhurya Kadambani, you'll find here that Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur says, some people, uh, this is from the Madhurya Kundamani in the second nectar shower. First, the aspiring devotee developed shraddha or faith. Shraddha means to have firm trust in the scriptures dealing with bhakti. It also means to have a genuine desire to enthusiastically follow the activities, sadhana, described in those scriptures. These two types of faith may be either spontaneous, swabhaviki, or aroused by the forceful preaching of another, bhala dhuti padita, by the forceful preaching of another, it may be awakened. So we'll also find uh, more uh, instruction on this, so certainly throughout the Srimad Bhagavatam. Let's look in the 10th canto of 14th chapter, Jnane Priyasam Udapasya Namante Eva. What's the verse number? Three. Three. So one fourteen three, please. Jnane Priyasam means that you should f completely give up the process. Jnane Priyasam, the endeavor, Udapasya means completely, uh, of trying to understand God by your own power, uh, by your own uh, brain power. Namanta, but offer obeisances where? Uh, you should live for this, to offer obeisances, sat mukaritam, by the words chanted by pure devotees, vavadiyavartam, 
And what words are they speaking? Words related to you, Brahma is saying. And then he, he gives the prescription, stani stita shrutigatam tanuvan manobir. So tanu means body, vak means words, and manobir means mind. Means that you should, from whatever position you're in now, remain there, but shrutigatam, uh, be active in receiving the message. And you should worship that message with your body, mind, and words. And if you do that, then ajita, the unconquerable one, Krishna, becomes jitta, or conquered. And uh, so let's look at the verse. Brahma, speaking to Krishna, says, those who even while remaining situated in their established social positions, throw away the process of speculative knowledge and with their body, words, and mind offer all respects to descriptions of your personality and activities, dedicating their lives to these narrations, which are vibrated by you personally and by your pure devotees. Certainly conquer your lordship although you are otherwise unconquerable by anyone within the three worlds. This verse really describes all of you, the way you've dedicated yourselves to the narrations, not just in hearing them, but also in distributing them to other people. Purport, here the word utapasya clearly indicates that one should not even slightly endeavor to understand the absolute truth by the process of mental speculation. For it in, invariably carries one to an imperfect, to an in, imperfect impersonal understanding of God. The word jivanti indicates that a devotee who always hears about Lord Krishna will go back home, back to Godhead, even if he can do nothing except maintain his existence and hear topics concerning the Lord. So this goes to the, the point um, I often make that I've extracted from the another, you don't have to go there right now, but from another purport in this same chapter, in which Sri Swami has comment, commented that uh, you should somehow or other stay alive in Krishna consciousness, <laughs> because if you do, you'll inherit the kingdom of God. Don't fall for any uh, stupid stuff. Just don't fall for it. Just stick with this. Stick with the transcendental vibration from a trusted source, and just keep hearing and live a simple life of, of offering obeisances to the sound vibration and keep distributing it and stay alive somehow or other. Eat a few pancakes, you'll be all right. Okay. So Shri what? Sana, huh? Sorry, go ahead, Prabhu. I had a question. Oh, no, please go ahead. So we read about the Pashandi thing that you just, um, um, I mean, we described who Pashandi is. Uh, people who consider, um, Krishna and every demigod to be seen. So most of my family members consider that. I mean, they, but they're very pious. They chant a lot. I mean, chant in a sense, they do Vishnu Sahasranama, they do Narayaniyam, they do all, all day, or like literally. Um, I was just trying to understand that um, uh, when Ajamila spoke, when, when an Ajamila said Narayana, he received the highest benediction. Is it my, uh, correct me if I'm uh, not wrong, even though my family members might be doing a lot of pious activities, since they are offending by saying Krishna and the demigods are the same, they will not be able to get the same credit like Ajamila, right? Yeah. Ajamila is different. He wasn't calling the demigods. He was, uh, or he had, he had uh, very innocently called his son. Due to his previous progress in devotional service, he was inclined to call his son Narayan. And very innocently he was calling out without any awareness of what he was doing, of mixing the two together. So, um, yeah, it's different. It's a different mood and circumstance in the way Ajamil was, was doing this. Is the way as a daughter I can do something about it? You are. Uh, you'll be surprised, Prabhupada said, by how much effect you have on your parents. First of all, it's very difficult to preach to parents because... You know, you're their kid, and the the uh, abhiman of a parent is like, you listen to me, I don't listen to you. And so, if you try to instruct them, they'll they'll reject it generally. Although I do hear from devotees all the time, they start 
following Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu under Srila Prabhupada, and then they start chanting 16 rounds, and then they call their parents and say, chant 16 rounds, and then all they call back the next day, my parents are chanting 16 rounds. <laughs> I guess that's the Punya Bhumi effect. But uh, oftentimes people are stuck in a certain way, and uh, you have to set an example, uh, give them mercy, and when the opening comes, then you, you can pour in as much as possible. And that that will come, the time will come, generally does, so you look for that, and also try to uh, give them, pass on mercy that you get from Lord Chaitanya and the pure devotees in the form of prasad or, or things like that, and it'll rub off. These are very pious people, uh, 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 but... Uh, it's very difficult to for those who grow up in that culture and have some momentum to give up those kinds of ideas and habits. It, it, it takes some association and some revelation in life. So you have to look for the opening. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hey, Vaikuntha Nayaka. Hare Bol. Maharaj, uh, this was a question about the glories of the holy name that uh, you mentioned. And you said that it is not an exaggeration. And uh, so one part of it is indeed inspiring that I have such a powerful medicine um, with me. But uh, the other part of me says that despite having this powerful medicine, um, Still, I have so many anarthas. So how deep the disease might be in me? And it brings in a sense of hopelessness, uh, which I believe is uh, not conducive. So can you uh, tell something how to continue having hope and uh, balance this too? Like despite that the holy name is powerful, yet actually I have hope, you know. Uh, could you say something about this so that you continue to have hope and enthusiasm and not wallow in self-pity or you know, self-abnegation? Sure. Well, Vaikuntha Nayaka Prabhu, from your lifestyle and your activities and your faith, I can guarantee you that you will overcome your anartas. Absolutely guarantee. And that's not from my speculation. It's from the scriptures. So a few points... If you look in Bhagavatam, you'll find that Krishna says, Drata Shada Makatasu Nirvina Sarva Karmasu Veda Dukat Makankamas Pritjagi Pyanishvara Tatoba Jeta Mamprita Shraddha Lur Jujanishjaya Jushamanam Statankamas Dukho Darkam Stagarayan. He recognizes that there's a period during Anarta Navriti where you're fully cognizant of what you want to be. And where you want to go, but you just can't go there. Paritjagye, uh, you want to uh, give up these anartas, pyanishvara, but you don't have ishvara, you don't have the power to do it. Tato bajeta mam prita. So you should continue with the process of devotional service, he said. Tato bajeta mam prita. Uh, go on worshiping. Shradhalur, jurdhanishchaya, with firm faith. And determination. Shradalur Judanishya Ju Shamanam Shatankamam Duko Darkams to Garayan. He said, be a little bit repentant or uh, regretful. That's a very powerful element. A little bit of regret, but not so much, he says, that you give up the practice. And then you might look at uh, Lord Chaitanya's teachings to Sanatan Goswami. And therein he says out of the 64 items of devotional service, five are extremely powerful. He says, even if you don't have faith in them, <laughs> but you're not offensive, and you have a little contact with them, th then you'll be successful. And they include chanting Hare Krishna, living in the Holy Dham, worshiping the deity, associating with devotees, and hearing Srimad Bhagavatam, the association of like-minded devotees who are more advanced than oneself. Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita, Neha Bikramanashosti Pratyavayana Vidyate Swalpamapya Siddharmasya Trayate Mahatobhayat. He says that you will um, 
just by even the tiniest of endeavors in devotional service, you'll be freed from the greatest kind of danger, which is reverting back into the material world. Just the smallest act, what to speak of a lifestyle that you've designed for yourself. I've been there. I've seen it myself, the way you live. It's all centered around Krishna and Lord Chaitanya. It's like the nuclear option. It's too late. You've already dropped the, the uh, there's a fail safe on this. You've already, uh, <laughs> the, the nuclear warhead has already gone out of the hatch. You know, it's not going to come back now. So Prophet writes in the light of the Bhagavad, by its own force it will come. Even if you changed your mind now, you're still going to get it. Even if you change your mind, say, ah, forget it. I don't even want this anymore. Too, too late. Sorry. <laughs> it's coming of its own force. And so if you can understand that, and then you can say, okay, I'll just cooperate to the best of my ability, and I'll be very patient and wait for the Lord's mercy to come to me. Then you're in this category, tatenu kampam susamikshamanu bunjane evatma kutam vibhakam. That uh, I'm getting thrashed by my inartis. Somehow or other, I'm mixed up in the material world. But now I've realized that that's not what I want to do. And so whatever's coming as a reaction due to my past activities, let it come. I can't stop it. And actually, it's for my purification. It reminds me again and again that this material world really is objectionable. It's odious. Look up the word odious. Let's look at it. See if there's anything in that. Odious. Anyone? Anyone? Prabhuji, it's extremely un extremely <laughs> unpleasant. Repulsive. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Saduji. Odious, from Latin, odiosus, from odium, hatred. It's like, ew, uh, yuck. So if, if, one, uh, if one practices Krishna consciousness and, and goes on like this, uh, you will come to this stage of uh, pure devotional service. Krishna guarantees it. All the pure devotees guarantee it. Uh, those who are... Um, and knowledge of the scriptures know that that's the case. And so please uh, uh, just, uh, uh, you have to actually, in one sense, as Prabhupada writes, give up your disgust with your own inability to do what you think you need to do or what you know you need to do. Don't be disgusted, too disgusted with yourself and don't become unmotivated or, or demotivated is that a word? Demotivated to uh, to practice as much as you can, just because uh, you're not good at it yet. That's what uh, Prabhupada says in the purport to three thirty one in the Bhagavad Gita. Ye me matam idam nityam anutishtanti manava. You look at this purport. Ye me matam idam nityam three thirty one. And the verse says, Krishna says, just follow my instruction and everything's going to be fine. Don't panic. <laughs> Those persons who execute their duties according to my injunctions and who follow this teaching faithfully without envy become free from the bondage of fruit of actions. It's just his instructions are there. You just follow them to the best of your ability and without envy. And what does that mean, without envy? Very interesting point here. Let's hear the purport from Prabhupada. He says, the injunction of the Supreme Personality of Godhead Krishna is the essence of all Vedic wisdom and therefore is eternally true without exception. As the Vedas are eternal, so this truth of Krishna consciousness is also eternal. One should have firm faith in this injunction without envying the Lord. There are many philosophers who write comments on the Bhagavad Gita but who have no faith in Krishna. They will never be liberated from the bondage of fruit of action. But an ordinary man with firm faith in the eternal injunctions of the Lord, that's you, even though unable to execute such orders, that's not even you, becomes 
liberated from the bondage of the law of karma. In the beginning of Krishna consciousness, one may not fully discharge the injunctions of the Lord. Maybe that's you. But because one is not resentful of this principle and works sincerely without consideration of defeat and hopelessness, he will surely be promoted to the stage of pure Krishna consciousness. So uh, we uh, defeat and hopelessness is also a kind of an anarta. So we're not allowed to, to uh, maintain those. We, we uh, may not maintain those because Krishna is so powerful and his instruction is so powerful and his name is so powerful that we, we really don't have any justification for maintaining a sense of defeat and hopelessness. You're already saved. And, and now it's just a, it's academic uh, about the process. So just cooperate and don't worry about it so much. That my Thank summary, you, that was my summary in two sentences. <laughs> Cooperate and don't worry about it. Okay, Hare Krishna. Okay, yes, uh, Srivas Prabhu. I actually just wanted to um, thank you for bringing up this beautiful verse. It, it's so hope inspiring and uh, fills you with replenishment. So thank you for bringing that verse up. From Which one? Uh, the the uh, 11. Yani Prayasa. Uh, uh, no, no, the the. Uh, uh, what number is that? 11, 20, 27, 28. Oh, 11, 20, 27, and 20, through 28. Yeah, and the, in the purport, if you can read, it's really beautiful and it'll in, encourage all of us if, if you have the time. Sure, we got all day. <laughs> Thank you. We're not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I'll read the translation because. I just sort of ad-libbed. Having awakened faith in the narrations of my glories, being disgusted with all material activities, knowing that all sense gratification leads to misery, but still being unable to renounce all sense enjoyment, my devotees should remain happy and worship me with great faith and conviction. Even though he is sometimes engaged in sense enjoyment, my devotee knows that all sense gratification leads to a miserable result, and he sincerely repents of such activities purport by the servants of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. The beginning stage of pure devotional service is described here by the Lord. A sincere devotee has practically seen that all material activities lead only to sense gratification, and all sense gratification leads only to misery. Thus, a devotee's sincere desire is to engage 24 hours a day in the loving service of Lord Krishna without any personal motivation. The devotee sincerely desires to be established in his constitutional position as the Lord's eternal servitor, and he prays to the Lord to elevate him to this exalted position. The word Anishvara indicates that because of one's past sinful activities and bad habits, one may not immediately be able to completely extinguish the enjoying spirit. The Lord here encourages such a devotee not to be overly depressed or morose, but to remain enthusiastic and to go on with his loving service. The word nirvana indicates that a sincere devotee, although somewhat entangled in the remnants of sense gratification, is completely disgusted with material life and under no circumstances willingly commits sinful activities. In fact, he avoids every kind of materialistic activity. The word kaman basically refers to such sex attraction and its byproducts in the form of children, home, and so forth. Within the material world, the sex impulse is so strong that even a sincere candidate in the loving service of the Lord may sometimes be disturbed by sex, sex attraction or by lingering sentiments for wife and children. A pure devotee certainly feels spiritual affection for all living entities, including the so-called wife and children, but he knows that material bodily attraction leads to no good, for it simply entangles one and one's so-called relatives in a miserable chain reaction of fruit of activities. The word drida, nishchaya, steadfast conviction, indicates that in any circumstance a devotee is completely determined to go on with his prescribed duties for Krishna. Thus he thinks, by my previous shameful life, my heart is polluted with so many illusory attachments. Personally, I have no power to stop them. Only Lord Krishna within my heart can remove such inauspicious contamination. 
But whether the Lord removes such attachments immediately or lets me go, or lets me go on being afflicted by them, I will never give up my devotional service to him. Even if the Lord places millions of obstacles in my path, and even if because of my offenses I go to hell, I will never for a moment stop serving Lord Krishna. I'm not interested in menial, excuse me, I'm not interested in mental speculation or fruitive activities. even if Lord Brahma personally comes before me offering such engagements. I will not be even slightly interested. Although I am attached to material things, I can see very clearly that they lead to no good because they simply give me trouble and disturb my devotional service to the Lord. Therefore, I sincerely repent my foolish attachments to so many material things, and I am patiently awaiting Lord Krishna's mercy. The word prita indicates that a devotee feels exactly like the son or subject of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and is very attached to his relationship with the Lord. Therefore, although sincerely lamenting occasional lapses into sense enjoyment, he never gives up his enthusiasm to serve Lord Krishna. If a devotee becomes too morose or discouraged in devotional service, he may drift into an impersonal consciousness or give up his devotional service to the Lord. Therefore, the Lord here advises that although one should sincerely repent, he should not become chronically depressed. One should understand that because of his past sins, he must occasionally suffer disturbances from the material mind and senses. But one should not therefore become a devotee of detachment, as do the speculative philosophers. Although one may desire detachment to purify one's devotional service to the Lord, if one becomes more concerned with renunciation than with acting for the pleasure of Lord Krishna, he is misunderstanding the position of loving devotional service. Faith in Lord Krishna is so powerful that in, that in due course of time it will automatically award detachment and perfect knowledge. If one gives up Lord Krishna as the central object of one's worship and concentrates more on knowledge and detachment, one will become deviated from one's progress in going back home, back to Godhead. A sincere devotee of the Lord must be sincerely convinced that simply by the strength of devotional service and by the mercy of Lord Krishna, he will achieve everything auspicious in life. One must believe that Lord Krishna is all-merciful and that he is the only real goal of one's life. Such determined faith combined with a sincere desire to give up sense enjoyment will carry one past the obstacles of this world. The words jata shraddha, matkatasu, are most significant here. By faithful hearing of the mercy and glories of the Lord, one will gradually be freed from all material desire and clearly see at every moment the utter frustration of sense gratification. Chanting the glories of the Lord with firm faith and conviction is a tremendously powerful spiritual process that enables one to give up all material association. There is actually nothing inauspicious in the devotional service of the Lord. Occasional difficulties experienced by a devotee are due to his previous material activities. On the other hand, the endeavor for sense gratification is completely inauspicious. Thus, sense gratification and devotional service are directly opposed to each other. In all circumstances, one should therefore remain the Lord's sincere servant always believing in his mercy, then, then when one will certainly go back home, back to Godhead. So there you have it. So um, there's a lot to be said about this. Yes, Srivast Prabhu. I, I just said thank you. That was many of the comments in the chat actually have really, uh, it, it, it's just thank you. I can truly identify with this purpose. Thank you. You're the one who brought it up and asked me to read it. So <laughs> thank you for elevating me to some position and then thanking me for it. Hare Krishna. So, um, <clears throat> Krishna. Oh. yes. Uh, Hare Krishna. Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Dandavas. Here we are with oh. Prami. So I have some re reflection. I will try. I will do it short. Uh, when you when you were talking about the devotee that start you know, the discussion that I'm God, no, you are not God. 
how the important to not compromise the principles. There's a, 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 a history about Giridas Swami when he was doing the fundraising for the temple and he went to the house of one people to sell, you know, the old collection of books. And the guy starts saying, oh, these books are bogus. They don't talk about Sankaracharya. And he started, he started the discussion. And when, when he, he said, OK, I cannot continue with this, he started arguing. OK, all the impersonalism, Maharaj will start like, fighting. And the guy, when he was going out, the guy said, OK, wait, 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 please come here. And he opened the altar and he showed he show him that he's worshiping, worshiping Radha Krishna. So he said, I, I am putting you in the situation to see if you are sincere and if, if you are not compromised the principles. <laughs> and he, bought, and he made life member. Yeah, he, he, he took all the books and he made a yeah, life member. Wow. That's such a good point. Thank you for bringing that up. That uh, our preaching is a way in which we calibrate our own faith in the Shastra, and also the way we present it to others is, is consequential, not only for them, but also for us in measuring our own faith. And also it's sort of a, a way that tis, Krishna tests us in, in, in certain ways, right? I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, are you ready? SKP, I see you've suddenly appeared here, like Narda Muni appears in various places. When you show up, it means something is afoot. <laughs> are you all set? Or are you still counting? Hello, Pranam I think counting is, Mali, huh? Mali is joining momentarily. So she, she, she's she still counting? Counting, yes. Uh, okay, she so, needs five more minutes, Prabhuji. She, yeah. I, I wanted to mention today is Giriraj Maharaj's uh, Divine Appearance Day is Vyasa Puja. So I want to read the offering I wrote for him because uh, there, I made a video that will be played at his Vyasa Puja today. Thank you, thank you. I, since we'll all, I don't know if we'll be privy to that. May oh, I read this? Sure, Professor. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, to His Holiness Giri Raj Maharaj and his followers, Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. When one's guru leaves the world, one may take shelter of a senior godbrother or sister as a representative of one's guru. Of course, one may take shelter of more than one. I have chosen Giriraj Maharaj as one such absolutely vital guide in my practice of devotional service, and there are important reasons why. The first is that I trust him implicitly. He has been unwavering in his service to Srila Prabhupada throughout all the phases of his life, a feat that I have personally witnessed and admired. His service has been impeccable and noteworthy. The second is that he knows well Srila Prabhupada's moods and methods. Whenever I'm wondering what Srila Prabhupada would do or say, I ask Giri Raj Maharaj, and he tells me. His guidance comes not only from his realization, that is, hearing from Krishna within his heart, but also and especially from what he has heard and learned from his many years of personal, intimate service and association of Srila Prabhupada. I'll read that last line again, sorry. Um, his guidance comes not only from his realization, that is, hearing from Krishna within his heart, but also, and especially from what he has heard and learned from his many years of personal, intimate association with and service to Srila Prabhupada. The third is that Maharaj knows Gaudiya Vaishnava Siddhanta. He not only knows the tattvas, but he teaches them in understandable, practical ways that I can understand. Fourth, although he is a senior godbrother and a venerable Vaishnava, he, extends, him, he ex extends himself to one and all, and to my surprise, this includes me. I can testify that because of Maharaja's warm and loving friendship, especially in times of need, I have been much encouraged to go on fighting the good fight to help spread Lord Chaitanya's movement. And finally, but leaving thousands of his glories unspoken, he is one of the best champions of book distribution in our Krishna consciousness movement. At any time, 
when devotees ask him for guidance, ask him for guidance and support for his important service, Maharaj unhesitatingly um, gives his wholehearted attention. Personally, I am fully dependent on Gary Raj Maharaj's mercy, and I pray that I may always be in his association and serve him in this life and in the next. All glories to Giriraj Maharaj and to this holy day, the occasion of his divine appearance. Om Tat Sat. Thank you for indulging me. Hare Krishna. SKP, I'm, I'm reading the lines of your face, and when I see that it's time for the offering, then I'll, I'll jump to action. Okay, so there are a couple more reflections and questions. Uh, does anybody in the, in the live Zoom room, or should I take them off the board? Prabhu, uh, I just mentioned uh, that uh, you mentioned about Giriraj Maharaj. So one thing is uh, the reflection is when Maharaj come to ISV, he's, I mean, very calm, Prabhuji. Like, you know, when, when he talks to people, he listens to uh, all the Vaishnavas and he always make sure that he'll come to the our book table. And he'll ask uh, how many sets we have done it. So thank you, Prabhu. It's a wonderful offering. You see, Giraj Maharaj, he's he's an amazing combination of of qualities. He has an amazing combination of qualities. One is that obviously, uh, you know, because just from his jati, from his birth, you can see, you know, he he came from some very high heavenly planet or something like that after practicing yoga he he uh, was born in a very aristocratic family a highly intelligent very wealthy family so this is one of the signs given in bhagavad gita and then he became attracted to uh, spiritual philosophy when he was young and then immediately recognized Srila Prabhupada when he met him as his guru and began following and following in such a way that um he uh, became the emblem of determination, especially from the circumstance I remember in uh, Bombay. Back in Juhu, in the old days, there were squatters that lived there that uh, it took decades to, to <laughs> move them off the property. And the devotees lived in extremely austere uh, conditions there. Prabhupada wanted that property. He wanted the deities moved there. And, and so there was a huge fight. Uh, about that. It's all coming out in Giriraj Maharaj's book. Or it's already come out, I guess. And uh, and so Giriraj Maharaj's father came and met Prabhupada. He offered Giriraj Maharaj millions of dollars to walk away from the Krishna consciousness movement. And then he wasn't even slightly interested. As we heard in that last purport, the devotee who's who has uh, fully dedicated his heart, his or her heart to Krishna, and who has a taste because uh, such a person is a pure devotee, um, you know, no other intention except serving Krishna. And then, you know, millions of dollars, uh, what's that? Uh, even Brahma comes and says, I'll give you a planet. I'll give you many planets. It's like, no thanks, not interested. It's like, it's odious. The whole material world is odious. For such a person, only devotional service counts. And um, and then uh, he has this um, quality. Also, I, I wanted to mention that he's a book distributor. He was one of the pioneers of book distribution in, in India. So he spent many years going door to door, shop to shop, to meet people and distribute books. So he has these combinations that are very um, sanguine. And uh, those who are interested in peer devotional service, those who are book distributors and preachers, uh, they can take shelter of Giriraj Maharaj. He's very compassionate. He knows all the ways of the world and how the energies work because of, of his long dedication to Shastra, to Sankirtan, and to Srila Prabhupada's lotus feet, that he has realized knowledge and knows how to, to give shelter. So he's a very, very powerful sage walking on this planet. Thank you, bro. That's a great... Uh, really. 
I think we Malli Mataji is ready, Prabhu. Looks like she is in the temple. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm not seeing it in your. I'm not seeing it, Malini. Are you really ready? <laughs> are you ready? Actually, or do you need a few more minutes? Prabhu, um, we we I I think we are ready, Prabhu. You think so, huh? Yes. I know are. the hesitation is because you know that it never ends. And even as you're speaking, more scores might ro roll in. But uh, I thank you very much for uh, taking the time to compile everything. And now um, it's uh, an opportunity for us to offer the results of all that we've done to uh, Srila Prabhupada and Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan. And just uh, the point is that uh, all the services that we're doing really are simply to please Srila Prabhupada and, and their lordships and that uh, we don't take any personal credit for anything. We're, we only try to work together in cooperation so that we can do something. And whatever that is, the main point is the feeling of cooperation that we've developed as we're doing it in the spirit of uh, selfless service. The, the rest of it, we need some score to shoot for in order to uh, have the impetus to push hard. But uh, that's the main item that we're offering. And then uh, we can also judge from that how we did, how well we cooperated. So without further uh, commentary, let's hear directly from um, our Sankirtan leaders about how we did for the last marathon. Over to you. Malini. Thank you, Prabhuji. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Om Ajnana Timiram Dhasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshuru Mritam Nira Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Though we are not um, directly at the temple, um, we can meditate that we are all standing uh, right in front of Srila Prabhupada's Vyasa Sam and um, all the Matajis to the, to the right and all the Prabhus to the left, uh, headed by His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu. And we are offering <clears throat> these results to Srila Prabhupada's lotus feet. Dear Srila Prabhupada, please accept my most humble obeisances at the dust of your lotus feet. All glories to your divine grace. We are gathered here to offer <clears throat> the results of our monthly Sankirtan festival for Bhadra Purnima 2020 entitled Go to Goloka. Bhadra Purnima also marks the date when you took sannyas. When someone asked you, are you going to America? You said, no, Srimad Bhagavatam is going to America. I am just going with it. In Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, third chapter, verse number 43, Krishnesva dhamu pagate, Dharma Jnana Dibhisaha Kalav Nashta Drisham Esha Pura Narko Duno Ditaha Translation This Bhagavad Puran is as brilliant as the sun and it has arisen just after the departure of Lord Krishna to his own abode accompanied by religion, knowledge, etc. Persons who have lost their vision due to the dense darkness of ignorance in the age of Kali shall get light from this Puran. Amidst COVID-19, wildfires, extreme temperatures, and so much chaos, Srimad Bhagavatam has shown vision and given relief to so many souls. Here at Team ISV, we had a goal to distribute at least 500 Srimad Bhagavatam sets from the launch of Bhadra Purnima, which was after God Purnima, until today. Just a few weeks ago, we had to increase our goals from 500 to 700 Srimad Bhagavatam sets. Devotees were trying various avenues to make people fortunate and place a set of Srimad Bhagavatam in their home. The highlights of this MSF are Bhadra Global One World Team organized a focus campaign to spread the message of Bhadra Purnima far and wide. As part of this, many senior sannyasis and leaders around the world came on a Zoom call and encouraged everyone to participate in this campaign. His Holiness Gopal Krishna Goswami Maharaj 
हे सोलिनस गिरिराज स्वामी महाराज हे सोलिनस राधानाथ स्वामी महाराज हे सोलिनस भक्ति राघव स्वामी महाराज हे सोलिनस इंद्रदुम्न स्वामी महाराज हे सोलिनस जय पताक स्वामी महाराज हे सोलिनस देवामृत स्वामी महाराज हिस ग्रेस भीम प्रभु हिस ग्रेस सुवास प्रभु हिस ग्रेस विजय प्रभु ऑल केम ऑन अ जूम कॉल विथ हिस ग्रेस वैशेषिक प्रभु to speak about the shrimad bhagavatam this increased the bhadra fever around the world on the day of bhadra purnima a grand bhadra daan yagna was organized at ahobilam india where the names of all the participants were offered in the fire yagna many leaders from india presided over the yagna from team isv 965 families participated in the yagna टोरोंटो Seattle and Baltimore which was appreciated very much and just this msf kids distributed 33 shrimad bhagavatam sets and co- and collected 6251 dollars in lakshmi haribo and they accrued Two thousand four hundred and thirty-six book points. This NSF. Haribo. Corporate Sankirtan team had the biggest Bhadra Purnima festival ever, and they distributed seven hundred and seventy-five Shrimad Bhagavatam sets. Jai. टीम हेज ग्रोन बिगर एंड देर एबल टू परफॉर्म दिस हर्क्यूल इन टास्क विदाउट एनी डिफिकल्टी On the day of Radhashtami, in response to the request made by His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu, ISV devotees profusely sponsored Shrimad Bhagavatam sets. On this historic day, six hundred and ten Shrimad Bhagavatams were sponsored, and we collected hundred and twenty-nine thousand and three hundred dollars in Lakshmi. Hari Hari Bo. His Grace Navin and Irada Prabhu and his team are distributing a complete library of Shri Prabhupada's books to many devotees around the world. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Calling parties are still going on, and a lot of strategies are coming out of those parties. ISV devotees reached out to friends, family, relatives, colleagues, and inspired them. to get a set or give a set of shrimad bhagavatam our shipping and delivery team here at isv and in india have been working non stop to deliver these bhagavatam sets we express our gratitude to the team and especially to bbt staff for accommodating all our requests hari bo ho oh. mochal geeta team distributed 2000 bhagavad geetas this msf haribo as in make this offering of the msf results we are pleased to report shri prabhupad that this has been a historic msf for isv and all the goals have been successfully met surpassed and smashed haribo <laughs> With respect to books, 
in all, more than 965 families participated in book distribution. Haribo! Haribo! Team ISV accrued 87,688.25 book points this MSF. Haribo! Which includes the following. In just three weeks, Team ISV distributed 1,505 Srimad Bhagavatam sets. Haribo! Out of which 355 are sponsored. Haribo! Haribo! Team ISV raised 216,000. $168 and 55 cents in Lakshmi in just three weeks. Haribo! Haribo! Surpassing the last year's Lakshmi of $73,671.87. And from Gaur Purnima to Badra Purnima, Team ISV distributed 1,894 Srimad Bhagavatam sets, surpassing the goal of 700 <clears throat> sets and the last year's total of 486 Bhagavatam sets. Haribo. Haribo. We thank all the devotees, donors, and our Sankirtan leaders who have contributed to this MSF. And we express our deepest gratitude to our beloved by Sheshika Prabhu and Nirakula Mataji and all Srila Prabhupada's disciples who are inspiring Team ISV. His grace by Sheshika Prabhu is a pioneer and leader who expanded Bhadra Purnima all over the world. During the inspiration, during his inspiration, due to his inspiration, Bhadra Purnima is celebrated all over the world. And we started with the goal of 10,000 Srimad Bhagavatam set worldwide but we smashed, crushed, <laughs> and doubled the sets by distributing 21,300 Srimad Bhagavatam sets. And these are just the preliminary results. Hari Hari Bo! Hari Bo! Hari Bo! And we pray at the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada to shower his blessings on Team ISV so that we can continue to smash and increase our distribution here at ISV and throughout the world. MSF of Go to Goloka Ki. Jai. Jai. Prabhupada Ki. Jai. Shri Shri Radha Madan Mohan Ki. Jai. Shri Man Mahaprabhu Ki. Jai. Shri Shri Lakshmi Narsingh Dev Ki. Jai. Gaur Primanande. Hari Hari Bo. My heartfelt thanks from everybody to our co-sankirtan leaders Malini and Sri Krishna Purushottam. Hare Krishna! Thank you for your indomitable spirit of uh, leadership and uh, instilling in the devotees a sense of urgency for book distribution. We're indebted to you. I'd also like to thank all the uh, leaders of the various departments especially Shraddha Devi Dasi and her team who have emerged as one of the biggest forces here at ISV from corporate Sankirtan. Oh, Mayapur Bihari Prabhu for his uh, world-changing service of the uh, Motel Gita. Jai, Hari Kameshwari and her, uh, uh, again, revolutionary world-changing service of developing the uh, kids sankirtan which is really the succession and the future of book distribution in the world <laughs> and all the other leaders who are uh, stepping up and taking this as your heart and soul to uh, not only distribute but also to learn all of Srila Prabhupada's books so that uh, you uh, can pass it on to others and, uh, and continue the discipline succession changing the hearts and minds of people all over the world.
Radha Kripa Prabhu would like to make a point. He's All right, I was just saying that uh, there's a slogan back in India is Modi hai to mumkin hai, that Modi hai, then it can happen. I just, just reiterating Shraddha Mataji hai to mumkin hai, the, all her leadership in uh, our corporate book distribution. This is, uh, I mean, ever expanding, you know, that the way she works, she had, like 149, I saw her email in the night and in the morning she was as fresh as if she didn't even have any you know, fatigue at all. I think all glory to her service. We are so blessed to be working under her association and leadership. And uh, so, you know, we are just really thankful, thankful to her for leading us to this one. So thank you. Whoa. I just uh, I just wanted to mention that, <laughs> although Radha Kepa Prabhu might say that, but I don't see myself as the leader. Actually, I take inspiration from this team. And, and it's my fortune to be serving such a fantastic group of great thinkers, go-getters, and enthusiastic book distributors. So um, my koti koti dhanwats to the whole team and again to the entire supporting team that I had. I mean, if I didn't have the support of the rest of the ISV, then we wouldn't have done that. So thank you so much. Okay. Hello. Um, we also wanted to thank um, Marketing Communications in the Innovations team led by Shamoini Mataji, yeah. um, that a lot of ideas um, that we implemented, which got implemented was only because of um, her team. So we just wanted to yeah. mention that also. Shamohini and, and Anakul Seva are, are constantly, th they don't miss anything. And uh, it, it, it makes it so that uh, we can think of anything and just say it. And uh, she'll record it and work with Anukul Seva and, her, and the rest of her team to make sure it gets implemented. And that's one of, one of the ways in which through teamwork, these kinds of things are being manifest. The point is that uh, we can unlimitedly expand. There's no uh, hindrance. And this is especially sweet and unprecedented because of the circumstances in the world. And we saw also that because we had uh, developed momentum here at ISV for book distribution, momentum not only in infrastructure, but also in attitude, that uh, nothing uh, should slow us down for any reason, that when we hit the pandemic, we took it as an opportunity. And that has noticeably and markedly affected the book distribution all over the world. And we saw it especially on the call we had with His Holiness Gopal Krishna Maharaj and Bhima Prabhu. Bhima Prabhu told us after that call that he totally changed the way he was presenting the goals to all the Indian leaders. Uh, of course, Gopal Krishna Maharaj is from another world. He's from the, you know, he's from, <laughs> he's, he's here, but he's not. He's actually in Goloka. So whatever he says manifests. He's a, such, such a powerful devotee. But also when Bhima, uh, talked to us afterwards, he said, I was going to tell my leaders that, you know, try to do half of what you did last year because, you know, COVID, what can be done? But because of the spirit of the, the devotees, you devotees here at ISV that came onto that call, it was transferred from your hearts to the hearts of Bhima Prabhu and to all the Indian leaders. And that's what changed it. Malini. There was uh, one score that was missed, and I apologize for my oversight on that. Actually, we missed the Bhagavad Seva um, team uh, in the offering. That uh, Bhagavad Seva team, uh, constituting of so many devotees across the globe, actually, they collected $32,100 in Lakshmi, and they distributed 214 Srimad Bhagavatam sets. Haribol! Actually, I think Krishna made us, me also, uh, not remember her name immediately so she could be highlighted. The determination that uh, uh, she has given to this, Sukeshri, uh, her determination for uh, distributing sets of Bhagavatams and her innovation uh, in not just the education system here at ISV, but now for spreading the Bhagavat Seva all over the world has uh, uh, made a huge difference uh, to communities everywhere, her innovation and her determination. 
So our heartfelt uh, um, thanks and glorification of your service and attitude. Hare Krishna. Teamwork, this one part of it. <laughs> Actually, as we start to drill down, uh, we'll see as the, the leaders have mentioned, okay, I'm serving those great uh, intelligent, well-equipped, and also faithful devotees in, in my team, as Shredda said. And as we look uh, more deeply, we'll find that that leadership is emerging uh, throughout the, the entire organization. And this is the way in which we actually build a, a more and more capacity. I said it before, I'd like to just mention it again now. It's, it's not the ultimate, it's not the number we hit, although that's a cause for celebration. The next day we start looking at new numbers. But the, what we're really looking for is capacity. How much capacity can we develop? Because birds fly in the sky as high as they're able, as, as high as their capacity allows. The sky is unlimited. And similarly, the number of books that we can distribute uh, to please Srila Prabhupada and Lord Chaitanya is also unlimited. But how much capacity do we have? And we develop capacity by our hearing and chanting together, our spirit of cooperation. And that is, uh, we're working self, selfless service to uh, please the Lord through cooperative service. And by these, we actually increase capacity. Not only that, uh, by organizational skills as well, employing everything that we know. Uh, and then Lord Chaitanya's mercy will flow in unlimitedly for us to expand. So our ideas of bigger and bigger numbers become possible by all these things. But what really pleases Lord Chaitanya is the cooperative spirit and the mood in which we do it. And this is uh, very prevalent in all of you. So thank you very much for the way that you're working because that's what will win the day in all circumstances. Sukeshri. Sorry, Prabhu. I just wanted to mention the name of Shamarupa Prabhu while I was gone for the surgery. He did everything behind. And when you said about cooperation, I just felt that he is he's such a he's such a true Vaishnav. He you know he does so much on the back and he always tells, just it's okay, don't don't even mention me. I just and uh, the entire team though. Yeah, he led the whole thing. <laughs> Thank you. See, it gets in a, a difficult territory here because now you start to mention devotees. We used to do this for the <laughs> devotee appreciation day, and when do you, how do you stop? How do you how do you not mention every single person? So that's why I'm just saying it's it's like uh, servant leadership from all sides, not not worried about you know who gets the credit so much, but really it's the team spirit. And that's what we're looking to do all over the world is to develop that mood in a global sense. And uh, it's starting to happen, especially through Padra. And I think, and I envision that we can expand world book distribution five, 10 times, 50 times, through this cooperation. And then anybody who's been involved in it knows that that's the hardest part is cooperating. Because when you work with others who have different ideas, different schedules, different uh, styles and everything like that, it requires suppressing one's own ego for the sake of uh, developing more capacity. So that's, that's where the real tapasya takes place. And that's where the real recognition takes place from Lord Chaitanya, that, that uh, we, we put our own um, accomplishment secondarily to the, to the accomplishment of the, of the team together in the spirit of cooperation. Well, thank you very much. This has been a, a, a very purifying experience, hasn't it? Working through these months of COVID, we'll never forget it. It'll be part of everyone's portfolio in this life, the next life, in the spiritual world, wherever. It's like, were you part of that team during 2020 when the pandemic came and you guys just locked down and then went nuts distributing Srimad Bhagavatam? That is an, on your eternal record. You, that will never be forgotten. Every phone call that you made every sleepless night that you took thinking how are we going to do this it all goes on on your you get a little portfolio to carry around with you wherever you go say yes i was on that on that winning team so thank you very much everybody hey look siri's recording everything i just said for some reason <laughs> siri wants to be involved too okay you, you're in 
Thank you very much, everybody. Now let's have our uh, Guru Puja. And from our hearts, we'll offer the results of all this now, although we did it through reading the scores from our hearts as we offer this Guru Puja. Let's offer these results completely to His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada, by whose mercy we had the opportunity to engage in such, such service. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Namashishtam Manumapi Shachiputra Matra Sarupam Shirupam Tasyagrajam Urupari Matarim Goshtavati Radha Kundam Girivaramoho Radhika Mahavasham To Yasya Pratitikapaya Shiguru Tamutos. He Guru Gyanada Nina Bando Swananda Data Kurunai Kisindo Vrindavana Sita Hita Vita Sita Data Nai Chacha He Dina Bando Kurunai Kisindo Guru Prasada Mai Manda Mure Laksha Paradhe Bhupa Bhagadhe I bow down to the beautiful lotus feet of my spiritual master by whose causeless mercy I have obtained the supreme holy name, the divine mantra, the service of the son of Shachi Mata, the association of Srila Surup Damara, Rupa Goswami and his older brother Sanatana Goswami, the supreme abode of Mathura, the blissful abode of Vrindavan the divine Radha Kund and Govardhana Hill, and the desire within my heart for the loving service of Sri Radhika and Madhava in Vrindavan. O spiritual master, O giver of divine wisdom, O friend of the fallen, you are the giver of your own bliss, and you are the only ocean of mercy. Although dwelling in Vrindavan, you have descended for the welfare of fallen souls like myself and you are preaching the divine love of Radha for Krishna. Please be kind upon us. Where's the violin? O friend of the lowly, O Gurudev, you are the only ocean of mercy. I am a dull fool and have committed hundreds of thousands of offenses. I have fallen into a dense myriad of sins. Therefore grace me with your mercy, so that my mind may be fixed on your lotus feet and on Sri Krishna. The lotus feet of our spiritual master are the only way by which we can attain pure devotional service. I bow down to his lotus feet with great law and ignorance. By his grace, one can cross the ocean of material suffering and obtain the mercy of Krishna. Our only wish is to have our consciousness purified by the words emanating from his lotus mouth. Attachment to his lotus feet is the perfection that fulfills all of his eyes. He opens our darkened eyes and fills our hearts with transcendental knowledge. He is our Lord birth after birth. From him ecstatic prema emanates. By him ignorance is destroyed. The Vedic scriptures sing of his character. Our spiritual master is the ocean of mercy, the friend of the poor, and the Lord and master of the devotees. O master, be merciful unto us. Give us the shade of your lotus feet. Your fame is spread all over the three worlds. Sri Guru Charana Padma
Yeah, I mean. 
Shriharinam Mantra Ki Shriharinam Prabhu Ki Transmittal Distribution Ki Go Pray Manande Nitai Gora Haribo Haribo Krishna. Well done, everybody, for a lifestyle that would please Bhakti Vinod Thakur, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta, all the great Acharyas, and especially Srila Prabhupada, who put us up to all this. Well done. That, going on with the transcendental vibration, deeply studying the Shastra and distributing books like nobody else on the planet. All householders and working children, everything. And you're, because of your spirit, you're excelling in book distribution. This is the way to get spotlighted. In, in life. On Zoom, you do something and you get spotlighted and we want to get spotlighted by the Acharyas. And you're doing it the right way. Uh, distributing books, this is a very elevated, mature process of worshiping the Lord who's in everyone's heart. Tapyante lokatapena sarava prayasojana Parama Aradatam Tadhi Purusha Saki Latmana. Shukadev Goswami, from his lotus lips, noticed that Lord Shiva was willing to take on the burden of drinking an ocean of poison just to save everybody else. And he said, This is the best way to worship Krishna. He's in everyone's heart. And that's when he really takes notice. If you do it for yourself, your own bhajan, that's okay. But if you do it, so you can save others so loud that nobody can deny you so the vibration goes all over the planet and especially when you do it following the footsteps of the acharyas the way they've shown to do it then your bhajan becomes so powerful that it'll take you back home back to godhead so we pray on this day the day we've offered the results of bhajra purnima Dear Srila Prabhupada and dear Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sri Sri Radha Mohan, Sri Sri Lakshmi Nishingadev, if you so desire, please empower us to work together in solidarity without any f false ego, in total cooperation, in order to continually increase our capacity for spreading the holy names through transcendental book distribution, Sri Harinam Sankirtan, to people all over the world, please let us imagine larger and larger numbers for distribution and please give us the facility to, to reach those for your pleasure and to do some major damage to Kali Yuga uh, by channeling the will of the great Acharyas. Thank you for considering our requests. Hare Krishna, Om Tat Sat. Flicker, you better say something on this one. Say yes. Haribo. Haribo, Flicker, our mascot. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Well, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, Krishna becomes especially pleased when we 
uh, try to give mercy to other people. Prasadam distribution, distribution of the holy name, distribution of Bhagavatam sets. Never hold back because life can uh, slide off at any minute. And the more that we can give ourselves to the process of Krishna consciousness now while we have the opportunity, the more we can be prepared for completely embracing Krishna in our mind and heart when we leave this world and uh, attract the goodwill of great uh, uh, exalted devotees and what to speak of Lord Krishna himself in his auspicious glance. Are there any other announcements? Prabhu, um, there is one, uh, one thing is that um, uh, we have a broadcast team uh, who is taking care of the broadcast and um, on the day of the Bhadradhan Yajna, um, this team of broadcasting devotees have been working for many, many hours uh, in preparation as well as uh, to broadcast and it was done so nicely that it is appreciated all over the world it was really nice yeah and they have figured out many ways to split screens um different ways to make the videos uh, run faster and uh, if this is a team headed by uh, ramananda saka prabhu and the team of all our isv youth we just want to thank them uh, because of them actually we are able to distribute many many sets Haribol, Haribol. And of course, one of the emerging themes all over the world has been uh, how are we following up with our book distribution? This is one of the burning questions. And during this lockdown, we've also reached unprecedented heights of developing infrastructure and momentum for following up and bringing in people. And it's really working. We're, we're getting, I'm personally getting letters from people from all over the world now who are somehow or other because of the, the hard work of our team that's developing Bhakti community to uh, their people are writing in saying, oh, now I, I can become a devotee. Now I'm hearing and they're becoming connected. So I'd like to hear a little bit from Jai Madhava Prabhu of how that's going and, and uh, what we can do to also increase our continuity between distributing a book and bringing somebody into the fold of hearing Krishna consciousness in the association of devotees. What have you to say? Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Shrupad. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, so uh, as you mentioned, uh, the sort of uh, reflections we are getting from people who uh, who are coming to community, it. Uh, they are truly appreciative. The sort of questions which are being asked during the programs, the sort of feedback they are sharing. Like just uh, uh, last week, ISKCON Sydney formally wanted to actually have their own Bhakti community, Bhakti community Sydney, uh, because what they have seen is the amount of progress the newcomers have made have been immense. Uh, it, it is beyond imagination. And they are truly uh, thankful for this program and they are looking forward to fully participate. And so the entire temple management uh, was very keen to take this forward. And we also had very good conversation with uh, ISKCON Dallas as well. Uh, they also uh, pretty much like, very much like it. So we, uh, given that we have had the foundation uh, built in and now it's in motion, we would now be reaching out to more and more because more and more temples are coming forward. So I did want to uh, share some of the updates, quick updates and some requests, uh, if that's okay. Please go ahead. Thank you. So I'll share my screen. And let me know if you're able to see the screen. Yes. Thanks. So the, as, as usual, there's three humble requests. Uh, this is really very uh, important uh, so that we can reach out to more and more people. Uh, the first one is uh, whenever you distribute a book to anyone, please go to bhaktikommunity.com slash invite newcomers and please send the invitation to inviting them to Bhakti community. So if you go there, uh, like whenever you distribute book, please do definitely in, uh, invite them. This particular URL will take you, like bhaktikamunity.com slash invite newcomers will take you to a document which contains a very simple email, which you can copy paste and just make a couple of changes, put the name of the person. And you can send this nice flyer, like, uh, introducing bhakti community to them as well as giving a special offer of two months free trial which they can take 
to explore the community and see if this benefits them and when you send this email to the uh, to the newcomer please do cc hi at bhakti community.com as well so that we get a re response if they have any questions we can answer them as well this really benefits for example i uh, want to thank um, ramakrishna prabhu he has been very diligently whenever he has been sending books you can see that he always uh, sends the bhakti community introduction email uh, as well as ceasing to a uh, higher bhakti community so we know this has gone and this person actually him a bandhu uh, she did actually join bhakti community after the introduction so this is really powerful uh, uh, way of introducing so please uh, every time invite newcomers when you review books and also we are looking for program sign up we have our own um, Govind Charan Prabhu as well as uh, Sundaranand Prabhu, they are working on, uh, as as we mentioned, transforming the journey, uh, discover yourself program, catering to Western and newcomer audiences, and they are all ready. Uh, so they are ready to go, uh, but we need sign up. But if we can at least have ten newcomers who can sign up, then we can start this program so that they can truly benefit, so they can get introduced to the entire aspects uh, of basics of Krishna consciousness. So I humbly request all of you to please uh, bring at least ten uh, sincere souls so that we can uh, start this program uh, with Govind Charan Prabhu and uh, Sundaran Prabhu. Uh, in addition, if uh, we are also looking for uh, Shrimad Bhagavatam, also we want to start a program. So if there are newcomers who are interested, please uh, 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 enroll Shrimad Bhagavatam as well. For that, just go to bhaktikamunity.com/program sign up. and give this url to any newcomer that you have and ask them if they are interested please sign up to one or both of them what do they like and then from then on we can follow with them so again a humble request uh, please uh, bring more people uh, so that we can start these programs so that was a, this. please go ahead yes yeah, so uh, i have a question for our leaders do you see a way in which we could be more consistent and and actually have some targets to uh, measure how many people we bring in and how, like, have a big push to to get more people Malini uh yeah. SKP Shraddha uh Sukeshri everybody wh what do you think Yes Prabhu I think um it will be a good idea if we can set a goal uh, for the next um MSF that we wanted to bring so many devotees into bhakti community as one of the goals and then we can uh, insist and make sure that all the devotees are sending the information of bhakti community so in that way if the goal is there in front of us it's easy for us to measure and one uh, one request mata ji uh, if the goal can be more around at least introducing bhakti community that should be 100% so like if you have given one set there is one invitation has gone because then it's up to krishna to inspire them so uh, that will be a good goal to have at least let's target 100% introduction goal uh, but i also agree we should That's if you easy. also have a... sorry please go ahead i like that i like that cuz it's it's really easy and like you say it, you know once it's done that you can count it right <laughs> that's great I, I thank just you ask prabhu prabhu we have registrations that happen for uh, bhagwat seva project i was just wondering that this is 1 dollar right so can we club the membership of uh, bhakti learning maybe we can talk offline um sure. because i was just thinking then then there will be so many more uh, everybody who enters there the parents can sign up for bhakti community sure mata ji i'll reach out to you thank you for that i would just say it's not a 1 dollar it's at least 1 dollar yes and which is a big difference I mean we're not saying just give $1 we're just saying please join and if they have any resistance then they can give at least $1 and uh, the reason that we're charging is because when somebody uh, comes in and they put their name in at least a dollar but more reasonably you know people would think of giving $20 or more that um they'll feel actually obligated to come and we notice in any registration if you give something even if it's a little something then you oh i should go i gave my money proper introduce that principle to us for book distribution in fact we were really attached to that for many many years uh, that proper said at least $5 for a big book when we're on sankirtan so we never went below that and that was his request so it's very reasonable thanks hari krishna hari krishna i'll quickly go through the uh, couple of other slides as well Uh, one is uh, second is please like follow and share bhakti community facebook page 
uh, if you go to facebook.com slash bhakti community there is a facebook page will come to and in that page you can see that every week uh, kids are creating um, collecting gems from each of the uh, classes and they are creating very nice video so this one was uh, from sadhana on this one from mantra music from uh, my madhurpura prabhu they are collecting this such nice gems it will be very uh, good if this can be shared with uh, all your uh, friends and families so that they can propagate it further they are just short 3 minute clip uh, so that it will be very good if that can be done so please uh, right uh, right now we are around 200 members of uh, follow this like this please go to uh, facebook.com bhakti community and like and follow and then whenever the new videos are posted please do like and share and uh, share with your uh, families and members so this one the second request are uh, the like as well uh, and in, and also invite your friends as well to like this page so that we can grow uh, too the next one is as i mentioned uh, like and share the bhakti bites a 3 minute video which uh, gets posted at least 2 to 3 videos per week kids are putting lot of effort here uh, next uh, we also have bhakti community cards uh, which are available um, so just uh, last week we sent uh, 1500 bhakti community cards to uh los angeles con los angeles uh, laguna beach and riverside as well as utah uh, and chicago so all of them have been, uh, taken this so that what they are doing is whenever they sh- ship a book give a book they always just add a card like this uh, along with it they just put it in as a bookmark they can use or uh, they can just introduce uh, bhakti community to them so this if if uh, if any of you are, are uh, looking for it uh, for it i do have cards at my place so i can come and give it to you or uh, i can uh, give it a temple uh, whatever you like uh, so this is a physical card available which you can hand it over along with the books also if you go to as i mentioned the invite newcomer there is a digital card as well so this is a nice little card if you want to just send an email and use this card you can use this one as well so either physical card or digital card please uh, uh, take it to uh, propagate as much as possible and lastly the long awaited subscription with paypal is also available now uh, on bhakti community so if you go to bhakti community and if you go to the uh, subscription page now you will see that uh, we have the regular stripe uh, uh, subscription of course which was already always available but we also have the paypal uh, subscription option available too so uh, members who want to uh, who already have paypal account they can easily subscribe and this is available both uh, for the uh, standard membership offering as well as for the special offer which are uh, exclusive for this kind of silicon valley uh, newcomers that we extend the two month free trial for both of them paypal subscription option is now available so uh, uh, so those were the quick uh, updates and if you as always if you have any questions or any uh, any comments suggestions please email hi at bhaktikommunity.com and we'll be more than happy uh, to answer any question that you may have so just want to, uh, to quickly go through this and thank you so much for the opportunity uh, any questions uh, so far what what we went, went through okay i do see some uh, questions on the chat so let me quickly maybe uh, answer them uh, yes uh, i think there is a link requested so link has been posted and yes we can give the postcard as bookmark as well so that can be given yeah any other questions no okay thank you so much uh, for the opportunity uh, to, uh, for providing bhakti community update thank you very much jm for leading us into the new universe of digital sankirtan and community a revolutionary act which is taking place right here under your leadership at ISV we're very much indebted for your visionary service and i must say tireless service hari krishna shari ravija jal जो देंद्रियाता है कहा जीबे पेले विषय शौकोरे कर्म जीति बायती लोभु मुझ सुर दुर्मती ताकि जीता
Take prashadam. Haribo. Haribo. Vancha kobla ruishta kripa sinabe vacha patitanam pavani bio vaishnave bio namo namaha nantakoti. Jai. Maharaj, you're on mute. You please unmute and say Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 